Hello, it's Miss Beth from the Josephine Louise Library. Can you hear me? Do you remember last week when we talked about sound waves? Well, right now I have an air conditioner on, so I'm going to turn that off. And then I can uh, slide down my mask. And right there is kind of a very short lesson in sound waves because that all blocked my sound waves coming out of my mouth. And that's why you can't hear people if they have a mask on as well as usual. But we all know we need to wear them right now to protect ourselves and each other. Anyway, so today I'm gonna to talk about light waves. And I have a little picture here of light waves and the colors how they move as they're traveling. And some are um, long waves, like the red, it goes up and down slower, or the waves are not as close together as the pink, which is like kind of going crazy there, up and down, up and down, up and down. So I found this book in the library, which, oh, by the way, I am in the library right now and we're just coming back and kind of getting ready to hopefully start bringing you books. So, and it's called Light and, and, and Light and Sea. <laughs> and it's not the book I was looking for. The book I'm looking for, I cannot find. So I don't know where it went. So I'm just gonna show you a different um, words that we can use when we talk about light, and then you can go home and you can figure out, um, I'm gonna play around with um, light. I'm gonna cover something up here. So right now we're looking at, it's pretty dark. I'm gonna show you, it's a window. All right, obviously it's a window. Or maybe, sort of obviously, there we go, that's better. And I've put a black cover, it's actually a huge piece of felt in front of it. And now I'm gonna draw it back. And my camera adjusts so that we can see. Notice how the even the um, camera kind of has to adjust to what's going on when I um, go behind that black um, cover. And I think my lens is dirty, so that's kind of stinky, but here we go. So what's happening is light is being absorbed by this black cloth. And I do this black shape and put it on the window and it blocks out and that's a silhouette and it blocks out the light. So all we see is the shape. And even if I had drawn on it, um, it you would have seen the black before you saw what was on it. And that's called absorption. So you can use that later. And if you notice, um, when you go out in the dark, out in the, sorry, out in the sunlight and you wear um, dark clothes, uh, you're gonna be hotter than if you wore something light. The next word I wanna show you is translucent. And translucent means that light can kind of come through, but not all of it. So here's a piece of wax paper that people sometimes use to when they're cooking or baking. And it's you can't see much through it, but light is coming in. You can see the shape, but you know there's light behind it. Same with this piece of um, yeah tissue paper. <laughs> And the, actually the tape that's taped on there. And you can sort of see through it. And if um, you've ever gone into a church or a museum, there might be windows that are um, um, oh, stained glass windows and they are translucent. And actually the black stuff that outlines them is um, uh, blocks the sunlight. And so it makes it very dramatic. Another word, a new word, another word is, oops, transparent. And when I made this word, I tried to make it transparent. So I'm gonna get closer and if you can see, 
you can sort of see through. When I did this, I used the laminator and it kind of worked and it didn't. I was a little disappointed, but you can see what's behind there, right? Can you see it? Transparent. So a window is transparent. You can see through a window, easy cheesy, lemon squeezy. They are transparent. And this one is, oops, reflection. So you've heard songs, you know, about my reflection show, um, you know, in the mirror, and you can see my phone in the reflection and my hand, hello, hello. I made sort of a lightning bolt, a sad looking lightning bolt out of this very shiny paper, sort of like the stuff that you have, um, the, the mylar balloons. And so what's happening is, <gasps> where's my picture? <laughs> Sorry. So what reflected is, what's happening is the light is hitting the mirror or the shiny surface and it's bouncing, it's bouncing, bouncing, bouncing off of the mirror or the shiny surface into your eyes. And it is then you looking back at that shiny surface and reflecting your your um, picture, your um, reflection. Oh my goodness, my words today, can't say them. And the last word that I'm gonna show you is um, refracted. Refracted light is broken light. Like, um, hopefully you never um, have to go to the hospital with something broken, but if you do, they might say you have a fracture, like your arm is broken. All right, so it's a fracture. And I hope this shows. So what's happening here is I put a pen in water and it almost looks broken. I'm gonna lift that up. Oh, and it looks bent or broken or fractured. And on this, oh, goodness gracious, this one was better. So it's, and it's not going to cooperate with me. Well, I'll be before when I looked at that. Okay, so it's not as dramatic as it was when I was looking at it before, but it still does not line up properly, and and it looks like it's broken or fractured, and that is because light has to go through not one, not one thing. But two, a solid surface, which is your uh, glass or your plastic, and then it's going to go through another surface or another um, form of matter. So our plastic is a solid, our water is a liquid, and it's it's you know it's having to go through a lot of things. So everything, the light gets broken up. So those are your words for today: absorption translucent, transparent, oh, and refracted are together and reflected. So go walk, walk around your house and see if you can find anything in your house that represents these words. And maybe you can hold them up to the window. You don't have to tape them, but study or hold them up to the light, like a, a lamp or something, or um, take them outside. Let me know. What do you find? Okay. Hey, it's Monday. Watch a little science. Do a little science. Have a great day, everybody.